you. Well, it's been four months since devastating storms tore through dozens of homes at Coronado Spring Valley in southeastern San Diego neighborhoods. Fox 5's Alani Latang checked in with some of the neighbors in Southcrest, and that's where we uh, see her live, joining us with an update on how those homeowners are doing now. Alani. Kathleen, a lot of homeowners say they're depressed because it's they've been out of their home for four months. It's an uncertain feeling for them. But coming back to Beta Street here in Southcrest is like little mini construction sites. And that's because a lot of the homes are not being lived in. They're either boarded up or they're completely cleared out and they're being worked on. Now we caught up with two of the homeowners that I talked to back in January and they say it's been a long and tough road, but things are starting to look up slowly. It's going to need edging along the, see how this is rounded here, so the edging's got to go there. I'm beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel now. Greg Montoya has lived in this Southcrest home on Beta Street for 30 years, but he's now rebuilding with the help of flood insurance after the January 22nd storms left his home gutted out. It's been very stressful for me because of the fact that uh, I've used a lot of my sick vacation time at work, you know, after work, rush here to get material and keep keep moving. The January 22nd storms flooded the Choyas Creek behind his home. Quickly after, all the homes on Beta Street were under five, even six feet of water. It was traumatizing to all the residents, and it's going to be uh, a trauma that's going to last for years. There's the holes that I opened up the floors. It's depressing. It's just depressing. It's just shocking, you know, going through this whole thing. It's Richard Corpus lives a few houses down from Greg. His home is down to the studs with approximately $150,000 in damages. But Richard says without flood insurance, the future of his home is uncertain. Thank God that we had, we had, we had some volunteers going there and and tear out some of the walls and stuff, which, which, which was good because I don't have money really to repair the house. I mean, just, I've been just trying to survive, you know, with the little money that I have, just trying to survive. And the reason the flood happened was because they ignore this area. They don't give the resources that are needed, even though they've received numerous reports about uh, storm system being inadequate. Greg and Richard have been living in hotels for the past four months. They and more than 300 people are a part of a $100 million lawsuit against the city of San Diego. The suit alleges the city failed to maintain and increase funding for stormwater infrastructure, but neighbors want the city to act now ahead of the next rain. My main concerns is that the city, you know, will kind of forget about us and, and not continue to, to do the maintenance that they're, they're supposed to do to keep this area clean. Greg Montoya has sued the city in the past over the 2018 flooding. The two settled on a, a certain amount, but uh, the main lawyer on this lawsuit, Evan Walker, says that more people are signing onto this lawsuit. So if you're someone that's been impacted by this flood and want to learn more about the lawsuit or learn more about some of your legal options, we'll have a link posted on our website at fox5sandiego.com. Reporting live in Southcrest, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News. All right. Thank you for the status report from there. Still ahead on Fox.